welcome back to Gamer Tales. Gamer Tales. Episode 3. My name is Brandon and joining me today is... Your boy Steve. Just, just me and you today. Just yeah. me and you. That's all right. That's what Gamer Tales is for. This is supposed to be like a little one on one, a, li- a little, a little filler show. Yeah. Right. You know, if someone came, you know, we we have a lot of video games to talk about, mm-hmm. and we'll resume our normal show. Yeah. But on this show, these are fun too, though. These are fun too. These are like little nostalgia trips. Oh yeah. Little little tales from the past. Mm-hmm. One might call them. A gamer tale <laughs> because they revolve around <laughs> video games. Yeah, and so um, and today, the weird tales that we have to spin about them. That's right. Today we thought we would talk about arcades. Yeah, because arcades are kind of a thing of the past. They're coming back a little bit. We're going to talk about. Yeah, that. yeah, they're, they're they're kind of on their way back. It, it varies, you know. Just, and we're also going to talk about the legend. The legend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the legend of Pinocchio's Pizza Playhouse. Boom. This is a real place. Yep. What is Pinocchio's Pizza Playhouse? We're going to talk about it in a minute. But first, let's rewind time. <laughs> Not just 20, probably closer to 20 years ago yeah, at this point. Oh, God. Everything that you want to talk about that's in the past is going to be at least 20 God, years. God, we're old. I know. Jacob's listening right now, and he's like, I'm Dude, old. Dude, I, I turned 30 Thursday. Gosh, the big three. Yeah. I'm not far behind you. I don't want to be 30, Brandon. I don't want to be 30 either. Brandon, I'm an old geezer now. But hey, you know what? It's okay. I'm about to go get my AARP card. <laughs> <laughs> my handicap sticker. <laughs> no, but it's okay. Start yelling at kids on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, I think I became an old man long before. Oh yeah. Uh, before I was gonna turn 30. Once you start anyway. working, once you start working, maybe like a few years after. I you think somewhere your around 26 yeah. is when my back started hurting yeah. all the time, yeah. and. You know, like when I became a homeowner. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I know I became a homeowner a little earlier than most people, but yeah. uh, <coughs> m- mainly when I had a kid. Yeah. You know, I'm like yeah. kids riding by on four wheelers. I'm like, um, y'all gonna y'all gonna be quiet? Actually, just the other night, uh, my wonderful new neighbors across the street uh, they like to blare. Um, I, I look, I love hip hop. Mm-hmm. I love I love rap music, but not modern stuff mm-hmm. so much. Oh God, some of that rap stuff. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. across the street. Before Vince is trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, my son's trying to sleep in the room that's literally facing that garage. <laughs> Their garage door's open. They're blaring this horrible modern rap music, and it's it's shooting out of the garage because. Oh God, it's probably actually loud. And I'm looking out the window like a paranoid grandpa, and I'm like, I'm like about like like I got 911 on speed dial. I'm like, <laughs> I'm let I'm gonna let it go for 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes. That's how no old. Yeah. That's how no old. Yep. But anyways, enough about me, yeah. about us being old farts at this point. <laughs> but let me rewind the, the clocks about 20 years ago to a lawless renegade time <laughs> called the 90s. The 90s. And in the 90s, we had video games. We had, you know, in the early 90s, we had Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. Later, you know, closer to the uh, 2000s, we had Nintendo 64 and Brandon, uh, PS2. Hmm? I hate to break it to you, but we actually have to go further than 20 years to get to the 90s. Do we? It's 2021, dog. If you go back 20 years, it's 2001. Yo, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, so you got to rewind it 25 years yeah, ago. Yeah, dude. We got to. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just, I just caught old. that, and I was like, oh, We're God, old. Brandon. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Little Jolly Gamer Show. Today we're talking about we're talking about Super Metroid. Do what? You, do you remember that game? What? 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 What'd you say, man? Oh man. So anyway, twenty-five years ago. So it was you know early nineties. We had Super Nintendo yeah, Sega Genesis, yeah. and, and that's about the, the time period I'm thinking of, right? Super and Nintendo Sega Genesis. If, if you wanted to play. If you wanted to play arcades, so arcades were these big, tall cabinets yeah. that they were Good better. They were better versions of the games you had at home. Yep. They could run at sixty frames per second. They mm-hmm. the they the screens were bigger. The graphics were crisper. Uh, some of those games didn't even come to home consoles because yeah, exactly. they, they couldn't make that leap. Um, until like the Sega Dreamcast, you know, that was what made the Sega Dreamcast such a big deal. Exactly. Uh, but like, you could play Killer Instinct on your Super mm-hmm. Nintendo, but you could play Killer Instinct in the arcade, and chances are it sounded better, yep. it looked better, and it played better. You could hear Spinal's theme. You could hear the little bones that they play on. The little bones. The so bones. Better. Um, the little bones and stuff. And <laughs> so the thing about the arcades was you had to you know leave your house, and, yeah. and they had establishments that were just. Arcades. You could. It was called an arcade. You went in, and there was just the cabinets yep. everywhere. Yep. Like there's Frogger, there's Root Beer Tapper, there's Killer Instinct. There's that weird Aerosmith game. 
<laughs> there, uh, <laughs> Revolution X. Go, Revolution X. There's Revolution X. There's that. W- there's that weird submarine game where you bring the head. Yeah, down. dude, I remember that one. There's there's that one you bring down. Oh there's, man. There's a, a motorcycle game where there's an actual motorcycle for you to play. Ooh, on. that was a really fun one. There's House of the Dead with the shotguns. There's uh, House of the Dead with the light guns. Ta- they they time got one, crisis, two, and three. Time Crisis with the pedal Ooh, and the Uzis. Yeah. You know, sorry, I can't they had so many cool games and you can yeah. only find them in, in the there. Games. Now, the bad thing about the arcades, though. There's a couple bad things. Yeah. First bad thing is they were expensive. Yeah, they were. A lot of these arcade games were built to steal your quarters, yeah. right? Because you had to put your quarters in. They the had machines. to. They had to insi- So they had to ram up the difficulty so that you were dying, but they had to incentivize you to want you to play back. So it was very, right. very calculated the way that they did. Yeah, they they wanted to lead you on the way that you mm-hmm. think you could get pretty far. Like mm-hmm. you know, let's use uh, the Ninja Turtles arcade machine yeah. for example. Uh, but as soon as you died, it was like. That was it. You it had was, to put another was, quarter in. By no means was it um, too hard to not have fun because you had an, an, you had a blast playing them. They always made arcade games to be fun. Um, it was difficult to capture capture your attention, and they needed it to be just difficult enough to where it took you coins because it had to make you want to keep coming back. That's right. Yep. And and a lot of games did that. I mean, um, we're gonna talk about some of these oh, games yeah. specifically oh, later. Yeah. But Ninja Turtles is a great example. Oh, yeah, or the X Men arcade. Do you remember the X Men arcade? I've only I ever do. I've only ever seen one of them one time. Eight players yeah. with the big old machine. Yeah. Um, and it's like. You could play pretty good, but you're going to get overwhelmed at some point. Oh, yeah. And then you were also incentivized to have more friends play with you, exactly. aka more quarters going to the machine. Yep. Um, yep. So it was all calculated. Yeah. So one of the other things about arcade machines, uh, or, or going to the arcade, that was kind of a, a cool thing, but a bad thing was yeah. the um, social experience. Oh yeah. And the social experience with it was like uh, putting your quarter up. You know, that's something that a lot of people don't understand. And one of the things that in my opinion, uh, online gaming has ruined because yeah. you didn't talk crap to people's. Uh, you didn't talk crap about somebody. There was at- a, it was a respect. It was a respect thing, you know. Like if you went to the arcade, there was almost always people fighting well, in the fighting game. Yeah, and you could talk smack. I'm sorry, in the game, in the game. Yeah, you could talk smack, but you had to back it up exactly right there. Yeah, you weren't gonna call someone, you know, like a racial slur yeah. or something inappropriate because you were in their face. You were you were standing. Exactly. You were literally shoulder to shoulder with somebody playing Street Fighter. Exactly. And you picked Guile, and you got to hit that flash kick. Exactly. Out. Yeah. You know, the thing that I love the most about that experience is that it was always in my. Well, I haven't ex- I haven't experienced any negative and negativity from it. Like no. like you know like you said with Xbox you know I, I, of course Xbox gets picked on a lot. Xbox Live lobbies right. are just yeah, it's the ongoing joke. Cesspool of, of toxicity, but like. Street Fighter, like Street Fighter cabinets, the Killer Instinct cabinets, Mortal Tekken. Kombat cabinets, Tekken, you know, it, there was always a, a mutual respect going on. Like, if you got your butt kicked, you looked at the you, guy, you, you shook that man's hand, you shook hand, that man's hand, you, you said, wow, you're really good. You and that guy said, hey man, this is what you gotta do to get yeah, good. Thanks for whipping my butt. Exactly. Thanks for showing me that fatality. How'd you do it? And then maybe you, you put it, you know, whoever's quarter up was next went, yep. and then maybe you put up a quarter because yep. you wanted to go spar with that guy and get better. Yep. Uh, and there was, there was a, like you said, a, there was a mutual respect yeah. in the arcades. Nowadays, it's like... Because it's, it's face-to-face interaction. Nobody wants to get their butt l- Like, you've seen some of them salty uh, montages on, like, Sma- oh, Smash yeah. Bros. and stuff like that. Oh, where yeah. It's like, dude, back in the day, it was like, come on, man. Yeah. Um, and I have, I have some funny stories I want to talk about. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, got, I have a few funny stories myself. Um, but also, um, a, a downside to that social experience was a lot of times... Those arcades, look, close your eyes. You hear, you hear the arcade, you hear the Pac-Man. You hear, you hear, the, 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 you hear the beeps and the boops you hear and the, the, beeps the guns. Boop, you, yeah, you hear the clicking of the light guns. You hear the the uh, the, the clacking of the ski balls yeah. against the, uh, the plexiglass. You hear all that, but also... Do you smell it? Yeah. Do you smell that body odor? Uh, <laughs> Do you smell? It's a weird mix of whatever food they're serving over there and body odor. Do you smell the the, the very uh, faint smell of, of weed coming off that one guy who got high before he came inside yep. to play games? Yep. Like all the all those smells, man. Yep. And then it's like, oh wait, do you feel that on your feet? Do you feel that squishy carpet? You look yeah. down and it's that that like space, like yeah. s- like UFOs and uh-huh. lasers and lightning yeah. bolts. That's, like how, that's that, how it was. I mean, that old that old uh, carpet that yeah. they used to have in all of them, and it, it was all gross because Dude, kids would spill their drinks and their snacks. I think that one in the mall that I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about. I don't wanna I don't wanna bring up the name yet, but I think they still had that carpet in there. They they should because it's, every it's arcade, still open. It's still open. Every arcade should have that. Oh carpet. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Pinocchio's was weird though. They didn't have. 
Pinocchio's Pinocchio. Pizza Playhouse. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's that's just the gist of mm-hmm. what the arcades were. Yep. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of our favorite arcade games oh, yeah. and some of our favorite arcade places we used to go to. But before we, yeah, before we do that, I want to get a little less specific. Yeah. And I want to say that just about any time that I would go to... Um, any vacation, right? Mm. Any vacation spot back in like the early 2000s, yeah. late 90s, there was always an arcade, right? Oh, yeah. So, um... Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, I'm, I'm, Town, all Yeah, over. I'm trying to think about, um... Like, we would go places like amusement parks. Yeah. Typically, there's an arcade somewhere. Yep. And I remember my parents never wanted me to play the arcades because they cost money, right? They, yeah. didn't, want to, they didn't want to give me, like, 15 bucks and say, yeah. hey, here, go knock yourself out. It was usually like, here's a dollar, make it count. You yeah, play your my dad, here's a dollar, bring me some change. And it's like, oh, man, okay. Yep. And so you really had to pick the game you wanted to play. Exactly. Uh, and for me, it was usually... Um, so you had the games that were, like... The ticket games, mm-hmm. and that's kind of what a lot of arcades are now, just the ticket games. Yeah. And when I say ticket games, I mean, like, skee-ball. The ones um, that, that are more rigged than the cabinets. Yeah, yeah, or like the the, the one that's like the... You remember the big... Legalized kid game. You remember the big the rotating games. roulette yeah. with the big bone that you yeah. push? It's like a dinosaur thing. Yeah, they just, still have that, dude. They still they, have that. They have that. that they, have. they have this new, like, beer pong one now, yeah. like, where you push the button, and then the, the, the balls drop yeah, into drop the cup. The and the there's cup. one where you actually throw the, the beer pong balls. And then they had that that one little spinny thing where you had to pick the, pick oh, the color the that light. matched the colorama. Yeah. The colorama. You the, the light one, yeah. yeah the the light one that looked like Wheel of Fortune going around yep. and you had to push the button. And So ticket games were different than the arcade games. I usually was spending my money on the arcade games that got you nothing except exactly. for the game. I stayed away from the ticket games too. Yeah, and so I was playing things like Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. Um, I was playing things like um, Cruising World, yeah. Cruising Exotica. Oh, yeah. Uh, because they were fun to play yeah. and not because I wanted the tickets. Because the Tickets would get you a little trinket or something if you got enough of them. And you had to get it's a so, butt ton of it's tickets. It's so funny, man, because when you look at the things that they have on the <laughs> oh, it's, counter, it's, ridiculous. it's all garbage. Like, you spend... <laughs> Except for the good, good prizes. Yeah. Like, they have some exclusive plushes out there that you can't get yeah. anywhere else. Like, Pac-Man plushes. But that's, like, over a thousand tickets. Oh, you need, like, ten thousand. You gotta spend, like, a hundred dollars to get Oh, get yeah, you might as well just go find them on Amazon. Pretty much, right? yeah. And then the Cheapo Depot stuff, like... Probably spend ten bucks on them weird little katanas that you get. They're, they're, oh, they're oh, only the available hollow, two places. The hollow yeah. plastic ones. You can only get them two places. You can only get them from ticket places and Mardi Gras. <laughs> yeah, you get them from Mardi Gras. <laughs> yeah, it's the only place you, you had to be get tall. You had to be tall to get it because yeah, the tall people, tall people, people can go like they go like, catch like, it. Like whoop whoop whoop. Yeah, <laughs> where do they get the things from? Blood bath over there. There's there. So uh, I heard one time yeah. uh, uh, side story. Yeah, yeah. And one time for Mardi Gras. Yeah. I uh, I caught a Mardi Gras cup and it had like dip spit in it. Dude, you catch all kinds yo, of yo, that's, jello shots. Yeah, that's Mardi Gras for you. Yep. Uh, yep. I remember one time uh, my mom had to shield my eyes because we went to Mardi Gras. Uh, it was over that street that our church used to be on in Homer. Yeah. yeah, and uh, there was this man, and he had fake boobs. And he was jumping up and down with his shirt up. And my mom was like, don't look! I was like, they're fake. They're fake, mom. <laughs> they're fake. They're not real. I've seen them on TV before. <laughs> and then you realize you told on yourself. You're like, oh. <laughs> Um, but but he, they get those things from like suppliers. I went oh, to one yeah. of those suppliers. You know how much those swords cost? Like a man? penny. It's like Since. five dollars, you get like twenty. <laughs> but you spend, you'll spend like twenty oh, bucks. Man. And then, and then full the one. lower, the lower ticket prices were like, like candy, like yeah. just like tootsie rolls, and like, get, not even the good candy, just yeah, like exactly. like the the Black kind of stuff you catch at Mardi Gras. Yeah, Mardi Gras. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I never really connected uh, Mardi yeah. Gras and arcades until they're cheap. Because they're cheap. Because <laughs> they're cheap ripoffs. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You get, them in, you get them in bulk at these Mardi Gras. They, 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 I don't really know what you... I call them Mardi Gras providers because that's where everybody goes to get their bees and stuff like that. Right. I rode in the float once. So I think what happens is is that uh, a lot of these arcades... Um, see, there is some relevant stuff about Mardi Gras. A lot of these arcades go through these Mardi Gras providers. Same suppliers. Now, that. also, we live in the South. Do you think the arcade prizes are any different from other places? I never, I don't th- know. never thought about. It. Do you think like? Do you think different suppliers have different like? Yeah, prizes? yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or maybe. I, I mean, in I mean, all honesty, it might be banned someplace. It's probably. I'll be honest, it's probably still cheap crap. I'll be honest. A lot of like a lot of that was like legalized gambling for children. Yeah, pretty much. That's basically, what it is. I mean, I mean, you're colorama. You're literally putting a bet on a color. Well, yeah. Like you're betting money, you're not getting money back. You're get that's the loophole with the gambling. Not getting it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it came back. 
<laughs> that's I never really thought about it like that because some some of these machines have disappeared from oh, yeah. human existence. Oh, well, some of them are still there though. You just gotta look. Yeah, like I don't. Oh, that's strange. I never really thought about it that way. Um, but here's something else about arcades. Do you yeah. remember? You know, back way back when, before the you know uh, the normalization of the internet, mm-hmm. or anyone who could actually use the internet, you had to have good arcade cabinet art to catch yep. everyone's eyes, yep. and like you had to have something that would draw you into that particular arcade. Yep. And so a lot of these arcades, not only do they have amazing artwork on the side of them, yeah. but they had these. Um, Oh man, why am I drawing such a blank? They uh, attract screens. Yeah. And so they would play this crazy music. And they would yeah. show these crazy things on the screen to make to make you want to put your money in that machine. Yeah. So for example, like Mortal Kombat, the original one that had like the the big uh, the actors who did the motion capture, yeah. and then like the attract screen would have the character bios, and they would have like the gameplay and have to show them doing cool moves. Yeah. And the cool thing about Mortal Kombat now, Mortal Kombat in arcades are like. Yeah, that, there is no yeah. arcade without Mortal Kombat. Mortal well, that's Kombat, how it used to be, at least. Yeah, Mortal Kombat was like the fatalities. No one, yep. no one knew the fatalities. They didn't know they were in the game. Yep. They didn't know how to do them. And whenever you saw them, people would freak out and would be like, "It made this like schoolyard discussion, right? Yeah. Like, oh man, did you see that guy reptile? There's he, always that one prodigy that had like all the fatalities. Yeah, and so that the, would show up. The reason everybody would cry. <laughs> the reason I wanted to bring up Mortal Kombat is because I remember specifically. I mean, you go back in the day. At least, yeah. You went. You didn't go to an arcade. There was. There, you didn't. There was no arcade you went to that didn't have a Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah. I'm look. I didn't even realize there's a Mortal Kombat mini game. <laughs> but there's a. That's funny. <laughs> there, you want to grab it? You want to look at it? <laughs> no, it's, it's actually inaccurate. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, I have this little Mortal Kombat arcade standy over there, like little teeny tiny yeah, version. Um, but yeah, arcades are kind of making a comeback, and in Mortal Kombat, you know, you didn't go to an arcade and not see Mortal Kombat there. Exactly. There's always a Mortal Kombat, whether it was always. one, two. I, went, I remember going to Pizza Hut all the time, and every Pizza Hut, I don't know why. Always had a Mortal Kombat two specifically all they two. Had. It was yeah, all they had. They didn't have any other cabinets. Just that it, one. It was just Mortal Kombat yep. two yep. with the Ra- exactly with Raiden on the side yep. with the lightning. Yeah, it was always that same one. Yep. I wonder if like Pizza Hut had a deal with them or but something. Maybe so. That because you know I, now that you mention it, I I remember going to the one Pizza Hut they had at home. Of. Never delivered I remember, for whatever I, reason. I remember being to all kinds of different Pizza Huts. Yeah. It was always the same arcade cabinet. Yep. It's yep. strange. Very very coincidental, yeah. if anything. I'm but you. Um, do you remember anything, any particular arcade artworks or track screens that, that drew you in, that made you want to spend your money? Because for me, it was Mortal Kombat. Do you remember when the, <laughs> when the Mortal Kombat 4 machine came yeah. out? It had the big Quan Chi head. Yeah. I was like, who is this weird looking, yeah. looks like Sting from the wrestling shows. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 res- the wrestling, the wrestling, the wrestling shows, program. The wrestling program. From w- I think it was WCW yeah. back then, wasn't it? Yeah, I think uh, so. Sting, it looked like a ripoff Sting, and I was like, but this is Mortal Kombat? Who's this character? And maybe when put my coins in exactly. to see Figure who this character out. was yeah. which Mortal Kombat 4 sucked but I didn't know that you know I never saw Mortal Kombat 4 cabinet ever. really yep I'm I've pretty sure one, I'm, two, I'm three. pretty sure they had one at a place we're gonna talk about later and we'll, we'll talk they about may that. have I don't know uh, they but, didn't have them in Tokyo, so. Uh, oh, no, and no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The thing about Mortal Kombat is is that uh, when arcades first opened, everybody had to have them. But then the controversy oh, yeah. came out. Yeah. And then when the controversy came out, you know, the a lot of the family-friendly places were like, oh, absolutely not. Yeah, but also, the controversy worked out even better for Mortal Kombat because yeah. everybody wanted to play the game and see it. Everybody was like, well, I want to I learn all the fatalities. Exactly. I, like, the reptile thing. Uh, reptiles in the first Mortal Kombat, but he would pop in. He would just jump on screen like, you have to find me. I'm under yeah. the bridge. Blah, blah, blah. And people were like, with talk about it and they wouldn't they wouldn't realize that, that was you know some people like oh you're lying that's not real you didn't really see that oh yeah and it was it was a real thing and, yeah. and mortal kombat and secrets are like peanut butter and jelly they they knew what they were doing yeah and, and uh midway knew what they were doing uh but there's other arcades uh like games that you know by the time they were available at home you know you kind of you kind of didn't want to play at the arcade anymore yeah because I'll use a perfect example. Gauntlet Dark or was it Dark? No, Dark Legacy is the home version. Uh, Gauntlet, uh, Legends. Gauntlet Legends. Yeah, Gauntlet Legends was a game that came out and like you could just get the home version. Of it. Yeah. Like, like you could go buy it for PS2 or GameCube. Yeah, or Gauntlet Legends was one of those ones that they came out simultaneously with the cabinet and the and the and the, right. okay, uh, the, I'm sorry, the home version. And, yeah. I think there is a Dark Legacy cabinet somewhere. I don't remember where I saw it. I cannot for the life of me remember where I saw it. We can look it up. I, I'm I, fairly certain. Yeah, I just had to look one up too because there was one. There was one that I was thinking of with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, 
Oh god, the um the 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 screens and stuff like that, freaking maximum force, the light gun game, you know what I'm oh, talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah, you know you know what I'm referring to though, it's probably not appropriate to bring it, uh, yeah. bring it up. But yeah, that one caught my attention. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, remember Silent Scope? Yeah, that one was really good. And it had like the the uh, attractive quote unquote attractive ladies that you would supposed That's to That's what I'm talking about with maximum yeah, yeah, force. Yeah, <laughs> they, Silent Scope did that. Maximum um, force it had that lady with those big old knockers, you know, coming up talking about like <laughs> We'll just just come up on the screen and talk about like like it's like don't shoot do, these. Do you remember when you would get first place in Cruising World and the trophy yeah. girls the trophy yeah. girls would come out yeah. and it'd be like that it would it'd be like it six, was a one piece it, bathing suit. It'd be dude. like six frames yeah. of animation of her giving you the trophy Pretty and much. I was like woo. Uh, NFL Blitz. NFL Blitz. NFL Blitz. Blitz. The cheerleaders. The cheerleaders. Um, Man, there were so many good arcade games. Now, I'm going to talk about some of my favorites. Um, yeah, but man. what do you want to go into first? Do you want to talk about some of our favorite arcade games, or do you want to talk about some of our, our, our arcade? Let's talk about the places. The places. Yeah, we're going to talk about the places first, and then we could segue into. So, um, in the, the area games. that we lived, yeah. there was there was a quite a few places you could go to play some arcade yeah. games. Let's talk about one one like one type of place, one facility that was synonymous with arcades was bowling alleys. Bowling alleys. Steve, what was the name of our bowling alley in home Louisiana? <laughs> Good old Creole Lanes, baby. Creole Lanes. Creole Lanes. Amazing name. It's now, still open. They had like a little mini arcade section. And it wasn't very big at all. I mean, yeah, it was no. a, but it, they had some good games. Over the course of time, it kind of all yeah. turned into ticket games. Yeah. And that's kind of the story with a lot of these That's places. how it is now. Uh, but man, I remember going to, in, uh, I, think, I remember specifically going, I think your sister had just learned how to drive. And they took us to go bowling. Took me and you to go bowling. Yeah. And me and you, they kept getting mad at us because, like, we would, there was a bunch of us there. Yeah. And so, like, we would, we would bowl our turn. It'd be like... 10 minutes before we got the bowl again. So we'd go back to the arcade yeah, and like, we'd, we'd start playing. Yeah. But they, you know what they had there? Mega Man Mega Power Man. Battles I 2. That. And I never saw that game before. And yeah. it's basically like a, a boss rush version of Mega Man, but you could play as other characters too. You could play as Proto Man, you could play as Base, and I think you could play as, uh, and, and of course, Mega Man. Um, I think it was Power Battle 2 That's that was sick. there. You had, to, you had to see the machine. Um... But I remember they had that game. Of course, I'm pretty sure they had, like, Cruising World, huh? Oh, yeah. Um, they had your run-of-the-mill racing games. I don't know if it was World or USA. Because some places didn't get Cruising World until a while. But um, but Creole Lanes had a lot of the simpler ones back then. Like, they always had the, uh, the two pinball machines in the back. I, I think... One of them was a Star Trek pinball. The other one was just some random run-of-the-mill pinball. Uh -huh. um, and then they had um, they had Killer Instinct. Yeah, dude, this was this was Power Battle yeah. Two. And they had both. They had House of the Dead One and Two. It was the only place where they had one and two. No, I take that back. The movie theater had one and two as well. But this one had one and two. And then they eventually uh, they eventually got three. So they at one time they had all three House of the Dead games, which is pretty cool. Dude, that's rare. Because usually is very rare. it's either you have one or the other. You yeah. know, it's like you walk in, there was House of the Dead two. Was it two with the shotguns? No, three was the one with the shotguns. Three with the shotguns. I, shotgun. I they, like the shotgun the best. Yeah. I think what they started to do um, is that they started to have either one or two and three. But Creole Lanes had all three, I remember. Because oh, yeah. in one in, in the front, they had the shotguns with three, and then right next to it, they had two, one and two, if, if I remember correctly. Um, the movie I always, theater, always preferred the, sh the cock and the shotgun yeah. versus shooting off screen. Yeah, me too. To reload. You, you could really do it quicker, you know, you just go blah, 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 You could blah, do it quicker, and it felt cooler. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I mean, eventually, I got to the point where, like, I saw somebody playing one of them, like, games. And, I mean, I'm just talking, they would reload so fast, they'd be like, pop, 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 off screen, pop, 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 off screen. Like, it was so yeah. cool. Because, you see, when I first started playing, I was just like, shoot off the screen, off the screen. You know, and I'd go, like, way off the screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah that well, one guy, it was a flick of the wrist. That one guy just, like, pulled his, like, flicked his wrist back, like, pop, 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 off screen, pop, 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 off screen. You know how you're, you're a true legend? Yeah. Is if, if you're holding the gun, right, you're holding, the, so it's like a pistol, right? Yeah. It, it, it used to look like a, kind of like a 1911 gun, right? Yeah, it was, it was so, really big, though, like, kind of big and bold. So instead of holding it proper form, right, mm -hmm. you know, uh, whatever your dominant hand yeah. is over the trigger, yeah. uh, other hand underneath the mag, you know, keeping it steady. It's a little harder to do, though, with the wire. Yeah, keep the it, keeping it steady, yeah. holding and aiming. If you're a true legend, you know how you really hold it? Let's see it. You take your, you take your um, uh, not your dominant hand, yeah. so I'm right-handed, so you take your left hand. And then you would put, you just grab the handle underneath the trigger guard, right? Uh -huh. Then you would take your pointer finger 
on the other one and put it in between the trigger guard and the trigger and you and then, there you, and go, then you yeah. would get rapid fire yeah, with you it. basically have rapid fire you yeah. would get rapid fire with it depending on the game yeah. you know if you had like a single shot like yeah. house of the dead yeah, yeah, in yeah. some of those games you'd get power ups that would do it yeah. for you but until then you would hold it like that and put your finger in there and then work that elbow mm-hmm. so you're da-da-da-da. and then you could flick it off screen really fast yep. and so you essentially have a machine gun now yep. I never could master that that's that that's what true legends yeah. are made out of I never could master that one and, and also true legends when they play street fighter mastered the technique of playing a Shoto character yeah. which would be Ryu or, or Ken and that downward fierce kick to the duck whirlwind kick and sure you can out of it. <laughs> that, yeah. If you knew those moves, you were a legend. Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of those moves were hard to master. I never got, never ever got to master. You know, I, 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 one thing I never got to be good at was fighting games with arcade sticks. Mm-hmm. I'm better with a controller. And it's just because I played I will say this though, you did eventually somehow acquire that ability because you schooled that guy in Barcadia that one time. We're going to talk about that later. We're going to talk about, talk about that, that later. That. That's, you, a, that's you, a great story. I'm glad you remember that story because I totally I forgot about it. I remember that I'm one. so glad you brought that up. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be one that's going to be for later, yeah. Uh, but Creole Lanes, now I mentioned it earlier, I'm pretty sure at one point, unless my memory is just serving me incorrectly, which is very I likely. I uh, I think, I think they had a Mortal Kombat 4 machine there at one point. Mm-mm. Not but if they If they didn't, I, then I saw it somewhere else. Because I remember we used to go on vacation, mm-hmm. like anytime we went to like Florida, we'd yeah. stop at like any kind of, you know, place that had a roller coaster or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they had an arcade machine yeah. inside. I remember specifically playing Mortal Kombat three and four and one of those. And they definitely had Mortal. They definitely had one of the Mortal Kombat's. I can't remember which one they had. A lot of them had three yeah. down here because like they phase out the old ones eventually mm-hmm. and they just kept the newer ones. Mm-hmm. And then four, four kind of came out in a time where arcades were starting to kind of die down a little yeah. bit. And so three was the one that we had a lot around. Here. Yeah, I don't think they added four. I, I then I don't think four. I don't think it was a four cabinet in in Homa unless. Um, one of the other places that I'm going to talk about uh, later. I, I don't think they did. But yeah, I, I think, I think I'm just there. misremembering. Because, I mean, I went to a lot of places that was just like, I, I went there once in my life and never returned. Yeah. You know, just like, we would go on trips, like, in, in Florida, like, to the beach, or maybe, yeah. um, like, canoeing, yeah. or, or, you know. A lot of those just, beach places, a lot of those vacation destinations, like, Orange Beach, yeah, Gulf like Shores, and, and, and arcade uh, go-kart Florida, places. They have, like, 10,000 of them. They have, like, if you go down that main highway that goes through, like, Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, pretty dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see the They've got so many dude, arcades. We went to one. Remember? There, yeah, there is an arcade. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. We're gonna talk about. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Don't the, the go kart story. Yeah. Dude, don't let me forget. Oh yeah. Don't, don't let <laughs> me forget about the go kart. The go kart story. Me too. I, I totally <laughs> forgot about. it. I'm glad you're here that, for this. That that that, that fits though because it was at an arcade. It was. That's it, why we didn't think about. Don't it. Don't let me forget. I'm but, not gonna forget that. But do you remember that in, that in Pigeon Forge there was that one arcade building that had like video game characters painted, yeah. like hand painted on the side. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And they had like Tomb Raider. Uh-huh. And then they had the guy. They had uh, Sergeant Cortez from Time Splitters. Yeah, I remember and I was like, that. Wow. I was like, no one knows what that yeah. game is. I feel like, well, now, now the internet is a thing. I was, think the go-kart, do, but... was the go-kart story from Pigeon Forge, or was that it was. Gulf Shores? Okay. It was. Okay, because I can remember. Threw it out there. Um, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean that. Just, it but, hit me. I was like, oh, but no, man. Creole Lanes, look, man, I wish I, you know, the next time I'm in Homa and you're in Homa at the same time, we got to go nostalgia trip mm-hmm. because... It's not the same, though. I'm afraid uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I hear. Because they, they upgraded the arcade. Now, the, the, the arcades the are just bowling, ticket games now. The bowling alley is the same, but the arcade, they really... So, most... No, I take it back. There is no ticket games because they don't have any ticket games, but they're all... It's just like games. Big Bug Hunter and yeah. all those. Um, we get got, a lot of those hunt that, games. That, that, uh, that one with the HTV, the the Rabbids roller coaster with the with the HTC Vive oh. that you put on. Yeah, yeah they have um, a, a lot of those hunting games down here. I think that's a southern thing as well. Yeah. Like every arcade down here has big hunt, yeah, big, big game, big bu- yeah, big game hunter or big bug hunter, uh, whatever. Like, yes, <laughs> some kind of hunting game. You were that quick draw game. Uh, man, what was the name of it? I can't remember. With the the cowboys, I think I know what you're talking Dang about. Dang it, I'll look it up. Um, I think I, I think I do know what you're talking about. Um, is that a pocket change thing? Uh, it might have been there, but uh, Steve, I think we kind of covered Creole Lanes. Yeah. I mean, look, bowling is awesome. I love bowling. Oh yeah. Now, especially as an adult, I can actually correctly do it now. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, I used to have to throw it like a Kamehameha wave. To I try do it. And, uh, you know how I bowl, thing. man. I bowl exactly like how I bowl on on a uh, Wii Sports, where you like you toss it like toss a- it up in the air and it goes. <laughs> you and throw, it's safe. Yeah. You can strike every time. <laughs> say you you, you right. throw it like a bag of trash. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, what was it? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to type in quick draw uh, Western Arcade. Arcade. Game. Um, man, those typos. <laughs> Art. Uh, 
Arca arcades our our cast game. Uh, fast draw was it? No, no, it was. Uh... I think it's that one. Is it that one? It looks like that one. There was one at Mad Dog McCree. Yeah, Mad Dog McCree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mad Dog McCree. Mad Dog McCree. Remember, you had the you had to you had to quick draw. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, fun. Yeah, I remember, remember the that police one. training one? That was yeah, a good one. Yeah, I remember that one too. Uh, and a lot of those we saw at this other place in the mall. Yeah. Uh, what was it called, Steve? Pocket Change. Pocket Change. That's a good name. Pocket Change, dog. Pocket Change was like the mecca for Homa Goth kids. <laughs> See, I never. So, so I was back in my Metal Steve days. I never fully embraced the Goth culture okay i was probably one of those outliers where, where i was really good friends with a lot of the mall goths but i was never you, were, you weren't willing to put on the trip i didn't pants. i did it was first of all in south louisiana in that heat how the hell are you still alive <laughs> oh, but i hung out <laughs> with a, a lot of question. people i hung out with a lot of people how's your mascara not running at this point <laughs> yeah exactly i hung out with a lot of those people man let me tell you something mall goths best people you ever meet they're so nice. They're so nice. Every one of They're them. They're very nice. nice. They are some of the nicest people because, you know, they understand the plight of the common man. That's why they're goth. That's why they're goth. Yeah. You know, they understand they, that. They understand what it's like being the outcast. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, you know, they're very welcoming in that regard. You know, like, I have a really, really good friend. In fact, one of my one of my buddies, I don't want to man, name drop him here, but um, one of my buddies. Larry. <laughs> we'll call him Larry. Um, one of my buddies, you know, I'm still really good friends with, mm -hmm. and he was one of the people that I, I, want, I don't want to call him a mall goth because that might be an offensive term to some people, but, uh, uh, but you know, like, know. but a lot of the people that were there were your stereotypical mall goth, you know, they had those big old huge black trip pants, trip pants that with the chains all over, wondering how in the world you ain't trip, yeah. but, you know, whatever. Um, but man, Pocket Change was like the mecca for this place because they all played D DDR. Yo, dude, listen, I've got some friends who play DDR. Mm -hmm. Now, they, they're not like gothic culture or anything yeah. like that. They're just, uh, I don't want to call them like mall rats either. Yeah. They're just, I, I, if, they're if just, I could they're just myself, gamers. Yeah, they're just if gamers. I could describe myself, you could probably call me a mall rat. I'm not a mall goth. But mall rat probably. I used to have a lot of friends who could play DDR, and mm. I still have friends who who could play DDR, and I don't know how they do it because it, it, it bro, is incredible. Bro, them gothic kids and them trip pants killed it, dude. Dude, killed it every you time. You know, you know that that you got DDR skills whenever you lean back on the on the the pole on the yep. rack right there, and you just let your feet go. Yep. Like you're not they, moving your body, time. your torso completely still, mm -hmm. your legs. Mm -hmm. brrr, yep. Yep. It's cr it's wild. I never play, never, I'm, never I'm played. Decent, I'm decesent at DDR. I'm not good. I'm de but all. I don't I don't play it like these people, dog. These mom. These, or if they you ever seen someone play it where they're using both the pads at the same time? Yes. Like, like they've got a yes. mode. Yes. They've got a mode in the game that makes you jump from one pad to yeah. the other. It's incredible. I don't know how they do that. And yeah. you know what? It's even crazier because that will put you in shape. Yeah. That DDR will put you in shape. Oh yeah. I'm glad you brought this up. Wanna, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to fight. I wouldn't want to fight any of these goth kids. All right. Because dude, boy, you they, get a swift kick from bro, one of those guys. Or bro, what? they probably had like 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 you ever heard the term skipping leg day? <laughs> That's all they did was leg day, bro. Yo, dude, That's all they they'll did. They'll kick your jaw off. Yes. <laughs> you ever seen that zombie movie? I don't even remember. What Looking like Omni like, Man yeah, got a exactly, hold of you. <laughs> let me tell you something. But let me. But 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 that's not all that Pocket Change was. Pocket Change, believe it or not, was my first experience at an arcade. So I remember really? being like yay high, like five years old, like maybe like up to my dad's knee or something. And we just happened to be at the mall. I think my mom was shopping. My my dad was like, I'm gonna take Steve. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the arcade. We're gonna play Pac. And so we went to the arcade, and I just was blown away, man. I mean, Pocket Change, the colors, dog. the sounds. Pocket Change Maybe is just was it dark, and they had the like yep, the neon colors yep, inside, and they had that stereotypical carpet that we were talking that about reflected earlier. Reflected the UV, yep. like the fluorescent, and it had, like lights. black lights everywhere. So yeah. cool, dude. It was. It felt huge because not only <laughs> and it was actually really small, it wasn't was, it? Oh, it was microscopic. It's, it's it is a. It is a sad shell of its former self right oh, now, man. Because it's still open, really. Uh, but back in the day, it, it was it was it would go all the way to the to the end of the building. That's how big it was, okay. And it was pretty big, you know. It was like one of those expanded, like think of a mall store, like how big a mall Didn't store they have, is. Like, how they like go in. Other activities in there. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, they when they first opened, this was before they even had DDR DDR there. Um, you didn't see the wall. Because every single square inch of that wall was there's a, cabinets. There's a cabinet. And then in the middle, they had cabinets. So, like, not only did they have the cabinets on each wall, in the middle, they had, like, 
like, okay, like, they had that like, like, facing, like, yeah. in the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you kind of like with, with this, okay? So they had, uh, I have Brandon's video game trivia. Sorry, I don't <laughs> no, know. It's cool. Cool. <laughs> so they had the cabinets on the walls on the back, like that, okay? Uh-huh. But in the middle, they had like, so it was a, it was a, it was a rectangular yep. shape, and the perimeter of it was lined with the cabinets. Cat lined with the cabinets. And in the middle, in the middle, they had back to back cabinets. They had rows, or, mm-hmm. yeah, they had rows of back to back cabinets. Did outward like facing, a, like a, like an hourglass, like not, not an hourglass, maybe more like a, a light bulb shape. Like a light bulb, Pretty like much. a teardrop shape. Yeah, teardrop. There like, you go. Like a teardrop. Because it would come out because in the middle they had that big old, <laughs> the big old uh, power section that you could probably call it because they had like every single, uh, every single the arcade in the middle was plugged in. Was they plugged had like in. extension cords and stuff like that. But man, it was awesome. They had all kinds of stuff. They probably had every single fighting game at that point. They probably that was Tekken, my first experience Street with Revolution Fighter? X too. Revolution. <laughs> Revolution X. My dad, <laughs> I played that game and I was playing it and dad's like, what you playing? I was like, I don't know. It's really cool. And then they got to the part where the girls were dancing in the cage. like, all right, let's play something else. <laughs> Didn't even let me finish. Grab me and like move me somewhere else because them girls are like, I don't even know if they're naked. They no, might be naked. I don't think so, no. But but they were dancing in the cages, you know, like like like. Don't you like shoot CDs at people? Yeah, you shoot, you shoot records. You shoot CDs. This is an Aerosmith game. <laughs> they ported that to the Super Nintendo. Did they? they did. I did not know that. Well, um... Well, that was that was that was my first experience with arcades, and then of course they grew into the mall goth, where they they bought DDR, and them goth kids and them trip trip pants were freaking killing it. And then one time I got brave and I was like, I put it on, um, I think it was Daikakai. Um, that's the only song I know from DDR because it sounded so cool. It was like this Japanese guy rapping in Japanese, and it was really good. Um, and I saw somebody do it, and then I put it, and then somebody just just finished it on like intense mode, and they're like. <sighs> Man, that was really cool. I was like, I like this song. I'm gonna try it. And then here I am, go up there, easy mode, <laughs> fail. <laughs> fail out. I have to quit. Yeah. But um, but they didn't make fun of you for it. No, they were really supportive. They're like, man, that was good. hey, you're gonna get it one day. And they like give me a high five and they like lift my spirits up. And I was like, that was like the least painful loss I've ever taken. Yeah, because man. Them goth kids, man, they understand. They understand. They they're empathize good. with you because they're outcasts. They're good folks. Man. And and you know yeah, like chances are you, you agreed with them because they were all gamers, dude. I probably. Yeah. Like, I'll be honest, man. There are some times where I brag on you to them, to them goth kids, man. Because oh, I'd be like, yeah, I brag, I brag on you. Because we were, we were, I remember we were talking. It was me, that buddy I was telling you about, um, Alex. <laughs> hey, this is my friend Brandon. He has no friends and stays inside well, you, all day. You were there. But, and plays Super Smash well, Bros. Well, so, so, okay. <laughs> you know how uh, every time, um, every time I go somewhere with Brent, um, or somebody that you know, everybody be like, so you're the infamous Steve, because you always talk about me to your friend, to your friend, you I guess, hopefully it's good things, but you know, the implication, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the implication good is good things. Well, I, I would do the same for you with, with my, with my mall goth friends, you know, like I tell them, we were talking about Final Fantasy 7 one time, I was like, man, oh boy, I was like, I was like, man, my boy Brandon, probably the best Final Fantasy 7 player in the world, <laughs> and they're like, really? I was like, he beat Emerald Weapon, and they're like, so? And I'll be like, with no cheats. Whoa! He beat he beat Emerald Weapon. Are you serious? He didn't use any cheats. He didn't use any cheats. I said I said, oh yeah, he beat Emerald Weapon. And he beat Ruby too. No! No, he beat Ruby, dude. Ruby's so hard. Are you serious? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I was like, he did it. I swear to God, he did it. It's funny because like after the dawn of the internet, uh, I feel so. so I, I feel so. Yeah, I beat him, dog. Yeah, I, I feel so inferior. Yeah. Like have you seen some of these things people do? Oh yeah, my gosh. people people be. Speed running this and killing it like five minutes. Yeah, like, they're like, oh, here's the uh, the one player one HP challenge of Emerald Weapon. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and you know, I mean, it's just um, and, and that's simpler times. That's the is general. All. That, and I guess times. to get back because I'm getting a little off track here, but that's that's the camaraderie that came with arcades that I loved so much, man. Is that like like anytime you go to an arcade, it always felt like there was like-minded people, not just the mall goths, but like people in general, you know, and so it's like, it was always a very welcoming atmosphere. I mean, some of my best memories were had at Arcade, you mm-hmm. know? Oh, yeah, and, then there, and then there's the one story from Pocket Change that I'm not going to mention on here because it's a little inappropriate, but uh, some random kid just talked about some um, explicit acts that happened in the uh, Jurassic Park cabinet. <laughs> the big Jurassic Park with the curtains. Yeah. Something about a bird. The, the, the raw thrills. <laughs> it wasn't raw thrills, it was... Uh... Um, the one before that, right? It's it's actually so. Um, was, it, was it the Raw Thrills? What's the Raw Thrills? Raw Thrills is the name of the the, uh, the arcade 
uh, manufacturer. I like all these new ones that you see. They're the like, Jurassic Park. Dr- there's a there's a there's yeah, a yeah, no, it's, not these. It, it's it's very similar. They play me every yeah, time because I see them and I'm like, oh my god, is this the original? The, yeah, the ones that you see now. There's, are the so there's three. There, it's actually four. There's four Jurassic Park arcade. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to the game. Yeah, I saw um, I saw a Raw Thrills Halo game. Remember? Yeah, you, remember yeah, that? that was in uh, Gulf Shores. In Gulf Shores, Gulf yeah. Shores, yeah. Um, it was actually really cool. I played it. Yeah, it, it was pretty We fun. played it. Um, yeah, we played it. We played it. So... I'm gonna say something before we move to the legendary, the legendary. to the legendary Pinocchio's, Pinocchio's Pizza, Pizza Playhouse. Playhouse. <laughs> Gotta say the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm gonna say Pizza something Playhouse. you may have forgot about. Mm-hmm. Celebration Station. Oh yeah! Celebration Station. Dude, now, low key, Celebration Station was like better than Pinocchio's could ever hope oh, to be. Oh yeah, yeah, it was. They oh, yeah. had remember they had they had uh, the water bumper cars. Yeah. Like the, uh, and for our Baton Rouge friends, don't don't think that we're talking about that. Whatever yeah, that the one pathetic in, excuse no, no, for yeah. Celebration Station. The one in New Orleans, man. The one in New Orleans was like the because mecca of arcades, dude. I want to talk a little bit about some of my favorite arcade games mm-hmm. I ever got to play, mm-hmm. and one of them was here. Mm-hmm. F-Zero, F-Zero AX. AX. Yo, do dude. you remember? We looked everywhere. everywhere. We got on the internet in the yeah, early the days of the internet. And we were, the dial-up. Remember, we found the... Uh, the, the um, the locator, like yeah. the arcade machine locator. It's like where to find And F-Zero it said AX. that there was one at Celebration Station, so we went, was that for your birthday? It was for my birthday. That, that's why, dude. Let we me tell you. We went for your birthday. And, I, and the the crazy thing was you could bring your memory card. Yeah. Remember that? And so that that's... Put your memory card in there. That, that was the point of it. Was you, you, it had you had exclusive content it, for dude, F-Zero GX. Such a great idea. And yeah. such an amazing yeah. arcade cabinet. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what it looked like? Yeah, it was Do you remember, huge. Do you remember the, the, um, the steering wheel? Yep. How it looked like? You felt like you were in that F-Zero machine and you put that let me, um, let me find it because I want to look at it yeah you put your memory card in there and you could unlock stuff but I remember I, I eventually just got an action replay yeah just, just use the cheat yeah. I just used the cheat codes because F-Zero AX I, it disappeared yeah do you remember that thing yeah How I remember cool that thing you know I found it at Disney World one time when I really? went to Disney yeah that's yeah. wild yeah um but, uh, but that I remember, I remember playing that there. I remember playing Gauntlet Legends there. Uh, they and had then, a lot of games. And there. then they had just kind of like your, your yeah. like the latest Tekken game. Yeah. Was like, like they always had the latest and greatest stuff at oh, Celebration yeah. Station. You know what else they had over there? They had that freaking uh, I don't know if you ever remember uh, the Bozo the Clown Super, super Show, where they yes. had to throw the little pink yes. box. It's like the precursor to beer pong. You know, where you yeah. have to throw it in the bucket. They had one there. You could win a trip to uh, Universal Studios. Yep, they had one there. Um, man. I used to want to do that so bad. Dude. dude. <laughs> I used to want to try to win that. I'd go, go on the Bozo the Clown show and try to win it. And Not knowing the, the entire Clown, time. Bozo the Clown is, is pretty scary looking dude. Makes Pennywise yeah. look like a joke. <laughs> you know, the entire time the, the entire time I watched them, they were all reruns. It was all over. They never, oh, yeah, they never they offered did, it again. Yeah, they were all reruns. I think it, it was in the 80s, right? When they, when uh, they yeah, actually did it. I, I used so. to watch that thinking that it was that it was live and going on. And I'd be like, oh, dude, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> the I'm Bozo the Clown The Bozo the Clown super show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was at Celebration Station, dude. Celebration Station in New Orleans was amazing. And they always had putt putt golf there, putt-putt and golf, they had go karts there, and bumper boats. Okay, food. <laughs> okay. I food. don't remember what kind the of food, food they had. was. What was it? What did they even have? It was passable was cafeteria it pizza? food. Yeah. Um, but I mean, honestly, the arcade selection was just the latest and greatest there. Oh yeah. And that was like your go-to, like big name arcade. It wasn't just like a little. Like mom and pop arcade shop, and for some reason it died. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was Katrina. I don't know if it was, but for some reason the, the one in Baton Rouge is miserable. Why is that? How? How? Brandon, how did the one in New Orleans, with how glorious it was, with all the cool latest and greatest arcade games, die? But the one in Baton Rouge is still going. It survived the pandemic. It's still. I literally just looked it up because I wanted <laughs> to see. I wanted to see. Well, the if last they time had anything on there about the New Orleans one, it's still open. <laughs> Wait, did it say ain't there no more? <laughs> yeah, ain't there no more. That's so. That's so. For for those of you who don't know, in New Orleans, there is a ongoing uh, ongoing thing called ain't ain't there no more. That, that's, spell, a, that's an old Benny and the yeah, Grunch joke. Exactly. They um they made a song ain't there no more. Um, but uh, that's that's all about New Orleans culture, and they basically like there's a Facebook play, page to, to, dedicated to "Ain't There No More," where people just talk about like stuff that ain't there no more, and they talk about Celebration Station all the time, and it's like, and, and I still it blows my mind today because of dude, the one in Baton Rouge was so crummy you could walk in. And you could just walk to the putt putt golf and just take a golf club and a ball. They wouldn't even say anything. You would just take it and you just How go do they golf. Even make money. I don't know. That's a lot. They're still open. They're open. Have, they survived the pandemic, Brandon. They survived the pandemic. I don't get it. You mean to tell me that 
some of the some of the world's greatest some of some of the greatest small local businesses that people love that people cherished all their lives died because of this pandemic and you mean to tell me that celebration station baton rouge is still alive it's somehow still there man it's I ridiculous don't, i don't understand but i mean uh but but i can't say enough good things about celebration station uh new orleans i we used Dude. to always go when we were younger oh man you remember that time we went for your birthday yeah and then you went home and you got your presents. You got the Game, Game Boy, Boy Advance. Advance. Got the Game Boy Advance. And you got Super Mario 2. F Zero. F Zero High Velocity. Metroid Fusion. Metroid Fusion. Man, dude, what a birthday. Yeah, that was a really good what birthday. What an amazing birthday. I remember playing that Game Boy Advance. I didn't even have a backlit screen. I remember you let me play it. And I was oh, like, yeah. I was playing uh, Mario 2 and I was like, blown away at the graphics on that handheld oh, yeah. i couldn't believe it nobody like who'd have thought that like like that's that was a huge jump because we went from we went from the barely colored in game boy color that like was basically the original game boy led with no mm-hmm. color and they just kind of added some color in there and then, well that and not only that but i mean you're essentially playing 8-bit games yeah like it not uh, not per- not eight bit, but pretty dang close. Like Link's Awakening mm. looks really good yeah. for the Game Boy, especially yeah. the Game Boy Color. Yeah. But I mean, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance you jump, made the jump up to like it was, sixteen bit. It was Super Nintendo but better and better. Yeah, like, they had more sounds. They were able to add like voices and stuff. They were able to like stretch those pixels and make yeah. like motion effects with them, like a Minish Cap and all that. Mm-hmm. Man, Game Boy Advance SP is probably one of the best systems ever made. Oh yeah, by far. I love that thing. By far. Um, I, I have one at my parents' house that still works. I have one around it. here somewhere. That's um, good. I gotta find a charge for it. But anyway, Minish Cap's good. Yeah, game. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good game. But it's time. Time for the legend. It's time to talk about the legendary. Yeah. The legendary. Um, uh, I, I want to call it a temple. Yeah. The temple. You call it a castle because it literally looked like a castle. It did look. Oh, it did look yeah, like a castle. Yeah, you remember the play place where you go up the freaking, uh, what do you call it? The belfry? Things? Was that a belfry? Uh, is that what they are? I don't know. I, I, I gotta look it up. But like, you know how those, you know, so for the, for, for our listeners, um, you know how castles, castles, your stereotypical castle had the walls, but then they had like the, uh, the towers, the little like towers steeple, built into I guess? it. Is that yeah, what you call it? I don't know. I'm about to look it up. Uh, Let's see, but... Uh, is, is it a belfry? I think it's a belfry. Castles, uh, c- circular tower and wall, I guess. Um, and, no, a belfry holds the bell. So yeah. you're thinking of just like a tower. Like, they just call them fortified towers. What are the round towers on castles called? Drum towers. Drum towers? Okay, sure. Apparently they were built to resist siege technology, which is pretty cool. That makes sense. But anyway. But Pinocchio's. Pinocchio's. Pinocchio's Pizza Playhouse. The Pin- legendary. Wait, is it Pizza Playhouse? Pokino, Pinocchio. Oh, God. I almost said Pokino. <laughs> Pinocchio's Pizza Playhouse. It was a castle. It was a castle. From the outside. Mm-hmm. Now, in case you don't know, uh, we didn't have Chuck E. Cheese, really. No. And Chuck E. Cheese is a place that you would go to play arcade games. And by the we time, didn't really have that. Yeah. Because we live in the South, yeah. <laughs> and we were kind of ghetto. You had to go to New Orleans to get to Chuck E. Yeah, Cheese. Yeah, we are kind of ghetto. But if you, you're going to New Orleans, you're going to you Station. You got the anyway. local uh, substitute, which is like basically, yeah. in layman's terms, correct me if I'm wrong, your Freddy Fazbear's Pizza yeah, that's, of, the, of that's, the South. Uh, dude, when they when they, uh, when they they released Five Nights at Freddy's, that's the first thing I thought of was like, Pinocchio's now, Pizza Playhouse. Pinocchio's Pizza Playhouse didn't have animatronics, no. but they did have a mascot. They have costumes. That was a costume, yeah. and it was Pinocchio. Yeah. It was like from the Disney, like like not it was not, not the Disney. Not it was, it was a generic Disney, Pinocchio, but the character. Yeah. But it was a like generic, generic Pinocchio. Disney big, uh, I mean uh, g- non Disney generic mm-hmm. Pinocchio head with, with the a long nose. Pac-Man looking nose. Now they did have other characters that were licensed characters. I think they they had like I don't know I don't know. How yeah, they just bought the costumes. They had like Scooby Doo and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, they but, bring um, them out for the birthday parties yeah. and stuff. But it was a castle and it was two stories. Mm-hmm. Now it's changed since I I've been there. So yeah, I haven't been there in a while. But the bottom floor was like seating where you had your, yep. the birthday parties yep. where you ate your food. So so um, they didn't have laser tag and all that when I was no, there. But they then you they went upstairs. And, and upstairs has it had all the arcade. It had your skee ball. It had remember that one game that had like the big clown face and you shot the teeth yeah. out of it with the cannonballs. Yeah. <coughs> um, and they had the thing where you, you threw the little like wiffle ball equivalent at yeah. the little fuzzy creatures. Yeah, little fuzzy creatures. Um, they had all those games we talked yeah. about before. They had you know um, uh, Hydro Thunder. Hydro Thunder. That was my favorite one there. They had freaking Wave Runner. Wave Runner. Wave Runner from Sega. Dude, 
they had the big, the big, like the big jet ski, actual would, jet ski. Every it, time you hit I a wave, it was front and center yep. right there. It was That's the first thing you see when you get it in there. It looked like Pizza Planet on Toy Story. Toy Story yeah. And then remember, like you see all the kids playing all the crazy games. Yeah. That's what it looked like when you walked up them stairs. When you when you went up yep. the stairs and you rounded the corner because the stairs would lead up to a wall. Yeah. And you'd walk, you turn around. And as soon as you turn around, you just saw all these games. Yeah. And I remember Hydro Thunder was my favorite. They had that motorcycle game where it was had the actual motorcycle you mm-hmm. rode on. They had all the ski ball and stuff over there in the corner. Yeah. They had those ticket games we talked about. The roulettes. They had the one game, the coin, the coin game. Yeah. The, I know with the, with the coin. That the, one that just eats your coins up. Yeah, and like there's a chance that it'll all empty out and you yeah. get all the coins for free. Yeah. Um, they had all that. They dude. had a playhouse too that would that would go up uh, may, in it, the area by the arcade. So like when you wanted to go to the arcade, but your but your uh, spoiled little brother wants to go in the play place, your mom can go up in the game room to watch you because for some reason you know I guess being eight or nine ain't old enough to be by yourself in Pinocchio's, but whatever. Um, but uh, but you know mom and, can and stay. The Pinocchio's are watching for the lawsuits again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but but I mean. Um, and they really were too, because man, every single, uh, every single railing on the stairs, Star- and on the side, wrapped, with styrofoam. wrapped with styrofoam. That that pool, that pool noodle styrofoam. Yeah, yeah. I think they're literally pool noodles. Oh yeah, I think they were. You remember like, <clears throat> like the upstairs, if I remember correctly, is like caged in. Like yeah, it yeah, looks like you're, it looks like a wrestling cage match, but it's all like, baby it's like a balcony. Your balcony looks over, you can see the dining area, but like it's really tall, so like young kids can't go in, and they're like. It looked, it, it looked like the gold saucer. Yeah, pretty much. It looked like the gold saucer pretty from much. Final Fantasy VII. And everything was baby-proof with them pull, Like, literally pulled. Yeah. You know, some, whoever owns Pinocchio is probably some Cajun dude. He, probably he goes to my church. I was gonna say, he he pro- played the piano at our church. Are you serious? Yeah, that's, he, what, that's why we were able to do the, uh, the legendary lock-in. lock-in. The legendary lock-in. The legendary lock-in. He probably, he probably, went, to, he probably, went, to, he probably went to the Walmarts. He uh, he probably bought them to pull noodles. That's Cajun ingenuity. Because let me tell you something. That stuff is super safe, too. Yeah, it is. You can't hurt nothing with them pull noodles. I don't know. If you ever got cracked across the face one of the things? It it makes the scariest noise. Yeah, but it, it don't sounds hurt. like it hurt, but it don't hurt. It at don't all. hurt. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell it's you right like, now. It's like getting punched by SpongeBob. I'm pretty sure everything in there was hand built. All the railings and stuff like that, like the pool noodles and the little nets that would keep you from falling off. Like mm-hmm. if it was a dumb little kid was just like, ha ha, and then like went in between the bars. Um, them nets, they were. Uh, yeah, they gonna stop. I wouldn't be surprised people. if you freaking cre- Kevlar, like some <laughs> kind of Kevlar Dude, or something. They were gonna stop because man. because we used to because like I said, so the play place um, to give you a little background. So so like as soon as you walked in, you see the prize area where for the ticket games you can redeem your stuff, and then you turn the wall, or you, you hit the corner, and then they have like like I, I like it's like the kitty games. The, Remember the kitty games? The 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 the, the crocodile, the, 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 the alligators, the, the, rack, the whack of crocodile, and, and you, you pop them in the mouth and they yeah. go ow. ow. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an ongoing yeah, joke. Yeah. Ow! Ow! <laughs> that, was, that was a little play. A little and they had like little, like little, um, like you put a quarter in it, it just goes like, mm-hmm. like the little, little, little rides, yeah, little, little rides for the kids. Yeah. And then they had like the entrance to the uh, play place. It was so cool because when you first walk in, you can't see the play place, but you know there's a play place because there's a little entrance for it. And they go out that little ballast tower or whatever it is. Um, and then you go upstairs. Then. You know, but but that's it's a two story play place where yeah, when, you, 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 when you, you go up, up it. you go up, you come you're out, in, you come out in the arcade. You don't, you can't like go into the arcade, but, but from like you there, see, but it. you can see the arcade. You can see it. Yeah, and so then um, you because the only way back down is that isn't there a slide? Yeah, there's a slide. You have to take a slide to go back down. So you would you take a you take a um, as soon as you, you see the uh, the alligator game, you take a left, you down some stairs, and then you walk around the big slide, and then you look, and there's a dining area to your right. Take a left, you turn around, and then there's stairs to bring you to the arcade. You go up the arcade, as soon as you walk up the stairs, if you look to your left, you'll see the play place area, like like the freaking punching bags. They had like punching bags in yeah, there, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, and then like, me- like, your like obstacles. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Obstacles that you can come up and down and stuff like that. So yeah, really the, cool. I mean, they had like the bunch of punch bags. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the legendary lock in. The legendary lock in. I went to one of them. Yeah. And I remember we stayed up all night. All, night. all the arcades were on free play. You can play whatever you want, as yep. long as you want to play it. Except for the Jurassic Park games. Except for the Jurassic Park always game. forgot the key to open it. <laughs> uh, but you could open up all of them and put them on free play. Yeah. I remember playing Hydro Thunder until I basically played everything there was to play in Hydro Dude, Thunder. Dude, we slept in the, uh, we slept in the ski ball. <laughs> yeah, we slept in the ski ball lane. Ski ball lane. I remember, like... As the night went on, like kids were just dropping like flies, oh, yeah, and dude. I remember there was like kids just sleeping in the play place, like yeah, no. just on the floor. I don't even think we went to nope. sleep. Like I don't even dude, think we fell asleep. I had video game burnout. Apparently, that's a real thing. 
where you just you, you di- start like, to feel dizzy. You, you, you so you played video games for so long, you're like dizzy. <laughs> well, those arcades, man, they, they would yeah. burn your eyes. You look at them long enough, and I remember, uh, I remember going home. My mom picked me up, and I remember just being so tired. Yeah, I was so tired. I, I just I, my mom was like, "You want to do anything?" I was like, "No." I was so to bed. so a little background on the on the legendary lock in. So um, I did Christmas choir once or twice. Nerd. I'll be honest with you. I did the Christmas choir just because they had the lock in. Like that's you literally. You just want to be a part yeah, of it. Yeah, I. I don't think I like I. I sang because I was goofy like that and I like being funny. Goofy. But like I wasn't. Good, I wasn't a good singer. Like I. I didn't care. I didn't practice. Like like they had some of them choir. Stay kids. tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, you know what? We're, we just started a Patreon and it, our Patreon bonus is Stephen's gonna sing the entirety of City Escape from Sonic Adventure Two. <laughs> Would you do that if we made a Patreon? Would if you we do made that? a Patreon and we raised uh, a certain amount of money, a hundred dollars, a little, I'd say a little more. Than that. Oh man, guys, guys, email the show. <laughs> I'd say a little more. Than do that. you but want Steve to sing City Escape? It, okay, well, first of all, full disclo- uh, full disclosure, I'm not a good singer. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get that straight. I'm just, I'm just we're gonna get that straight I'm immediately. Just teasing, Steve. I like I said, the only reason I did it was for the legendary lock-ins. And let me tell you something, it was so cool. So it was worth it. So we went to church. Like I mentioned earlier, the the guy that played piano for our church. Um, I mean, he owned the Pinocchio. He owned Pinocchio. Pizza Playhouse. This dude was so dedicated to his craft of playing the piano at church that if he wasn't able to physically attend practice, that man recorded his him playing piano and singing. He played piano and sung at church every day, like every Sunday. This every man, Sunday. Catholic amazing. Mass, by the way. This man's amazing. This dude this dude was a businessman through and through. And so then he opens up Pinocchio's Pizza Playhouse and he says, and you know, he's like the head music director at the church. At, at church. And so um, and so he tells everybody, you know, one of the, one of the things we're going to do to reward you for Christmas choir is the lock-ins at Pinocchio's. Where he would bring it, we all spend the night at Pinocchio's. We were just... Um, basically we were, um, you know, we had to sleep, um, we had, we were just basically on our own with sleeping arrangements, you know, pick somewhere to sleep and sleep there. And so, um, what he would do is he would get his little arcade keys and he'd open up all the cabinets mm-hmm. and he would, apparently all the arcades have a setting to where you can put it on free play. Mm-hmm. Not all of them do. Some of, sometimes you'd have to actually manually open it and then click the thing that would, count the quor- quarters when you put them in. So he sat there sometimes and he click it to like 99 credits. He's like, come come get me when it's done. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, we would play play video games all night, man. We'd play like Wave Runner. I don't know how people slept with that freaking Wave Runner machine Dude, all I night long going, I wouldn't have, Wave Runner. I wouldn't be able to From sleep. Sega. Dude, I remember I brought Wave my... Wave uh... Runner. From Sega all night long, or just hearing the jet blast of a hydro thunder mm, machine. But Brandon, you were playing it, so dude, I, I loved it all night long. I remember I had my sleeping bag and I had it unfolded in the skee ball lane because nobody was playing skee ball because yeah, they no. weren't doing tickets. They, yeah, they weren't doing. There was, was no only, reason to play the ticket. It games. was only the games, uh, like the game games. I, um, I, you know, I guess sometimes people, you know, people might feel like brave or something. They might. Uh, they might, you know, want to show off, like, look how good I am at skee-ball. But, yeah, but hey, Steve, uh, how was the food at Pinocchio's? It was awful. It was garbage. Bad. Poo-poo garbage. It was bad. Awful pizza. And so, it, <laughs> as time went on, you, you, you told me Pinocchio's, now, I, I don't know this, you told me Pinocchio's has expanded. Yeah, Pinocchio's has expanded. So, um, in the, maybe mid to late 2000s, they added laser tag, mm-hmm. which was, like, huge, because... Um, if yeah. you wanted, if you want to play laser tag, you'd have to go to New Orleans. You'd yeah. have to go to New Orleans, but then Pinocchio. And that was like that was like a what two hour drive? Yeah, or what, about 40, an hour and forty five minutes. Forty five forty five minutes to an hour. Th- an hour yeah, and it depends on traffic. Depends on traffic. Um, and what day of the week it is. And then you know, to be fair, New Orleans is kind of a crime ridden place. It's even worse now. But it's really not. <laughs> Really wasn't that great back then either, so you know, like... <laughs> give me your wallet! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we make this joke so often. Yep. It's like, oh man, this po' boy is delicious. Give me your wallet! <laughs> that's how. That's basically how New Orleans is. New Orleans is a beautiful place, but it's just plagued so by You're crime. like, wow, look at this beautiful architecture, and you're stepping over a homeless man on the floor. Stepping over a homeless man, somebody's getting yo, drugged. Yo, did you see that, that the Chewbacca, the man that dressed up in the Chewbacca outfit? Do you know the guy... Hey, look, anytime you've been in New Orleans, there's always that one dude oh, yeah. and that like less than movie quality Chewbacca. Yeah. That yeah. one guy, yeah. he's always walking around with a stormtrooper. Yeah. Remember he grabbed me one time? Yeah. And like he pulled me up against like he like he was just joking with was me. Was that my bachelor party when he did that? I don't know what that was. But that man, it said Chewbacca Street Performer 
got arrested for stabbing someone. What? <laughs> I, what? Sw- I swear. It, ha- it has to be the same guy. New Orleans, welcome. It has to be the same guy. Liberty City, welcome. That, the man who stabbed that guy could stab me. Wow. Saying. It wow. Took, and took my wallet. Well, I mean, you know, they should have let the Wookiee win. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You know, Han Solo uh, warned us. Always let the Wookiee win. But uh, so yeah, they had laser yeah. tag, uh, and now they have like bumper, yeah, cars, bumper cars and like and a, like like kind of like a kids bowling yeah. area. It's not really bowling balls; it's like plastic kind of. Yeah, honestly, it really declined because because as all arcade, I it, guess I guess it had it had to do with the downfall of yeah. arcades. Which, I guess, my uh, my guess, man, is that. I guess cabinets just don't last as long as we think they do. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna say our, our final chapter on this podcast episode, mm-hmm. which is, I think we're, I guess we're entering this chapter, mm-hmm. is the downfall. Mm-hmm. And what's unfortunate is, like I mentioned before, as video home consoles yep. got better, you know, pl- starting with the PlayStation them. One, yep. and then eventually, you know, once PS Two came around, like mean, the Dreamcast. I love how, I love how our, our, our voices got solemn. Yeah, <laughs> when, once the Dreamcast came, I mean, it's bittersweet because you had, bittersweet, yeah. you had all these great. Absolutely. Arcade quality games yeah. in your home, but also the arcades. At what cost? Yeah, we we've won, but at what cost? Yeah. Like the dream, it started with the Dreamcast. Yeah, because all those games. Because they came out with the light gun. Because Sega, the light gun. Sega yeah. made Sega those games. and Crazy Taxi. Hey, did, did, did they have Wave Runner? <laughs> Crazy Taxi, Soul Calibur. Yeah. You were getting you these get freaking time crisis on there, bro. You were getting these these arcade arcade games on your home yeah. console that were better yeah because those machines were so big and you can only put so much technology in it and like you said that technology now all those little crt tvs those monitors all that stuff it's gotta be going out they're all going out yeah. ba- all those batteries capacitors all that everything stuff. Like, i mean there's people out there that that work to preserve these machines but i mean it's a lot of work eventually, yeah and it's gonna cost money because you've got to you probably got to special order those parts the, yeah these, you know, these, these like machines you need, you need they, those those box tvs and those themselves have a shelf life and then like you said all the different uh all different stuff and it's just it's a shame man because it's like all those great fantastic games and that's got to be what arcades happened arcades are like at this point so let's say like early 2000s they kind of just started to die and then they've been yeah like literally one pulse away from being a flat line yeah they're starting to make a little bit of a comeback. So because we didn't talk about it, but bar- yeah. places like Barcadia, well, they they tried to bring it back because you know it's like a bar and it's retro and it's cool. Yeah, Barcadia, and hipsters like it. Yeah. And can we tell that story of Barcadia real quick? For yeah, a yeah, we can tell that Barcadia. Well, how did so I remember uh, so, we went to Barcadia and they had a lot of good machines there. Was it was it my birthday or was it was it uh, Dean's bur- birthday? It, it, was, it was your birthday. Bur- bur- it was yeah, your birthday. birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. It was your birthday. Oh yeah, that that story where <laughs> one of my friends discharged a real firearm in his truck didn't hurt, hit anybody, thank God. And but thank, it destroyed his there was a console. police officer standing. There was a police officer standing like yards away. <laughs> Let me tell you how. And he probably just thought it was a firework because it was Fourth of July. Well, time. well, it could either that or it could be the fact that we were in we were in by LSU's campus and it was Baton Rouge. Yeah, another pretty dangerous place when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. but. But I mean, um, a revolver got discharged. The real firearm. <laughs> Just a, oh my gosh! Nobody. So many things could have yeah, gone wrong there. Could've... But uh, it wasn't us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who it was. It was Larry. <laughs> it was not not your friend Larry. The other. This guy. is a different Larry. Different Larry. This different is Larry, uh, yeah. George. George. This is George. Uh, but anyways, um, they had a Street Fighter machine. In there. Yeah. Anyways, Street Fighter yeah. Two. Sorry. And so there was this guy. There was this guy, and he was, like, showing off to his friends. Yeah. He was, like, beating up his friends in Street Fighter. Did you challenge him, or did he challenge you? I walked up to him, and I, I said, hey, you want, can I play you? And he said, yeah, sure. I put my quarter in. Smoked him. And he was playing as Guile, and yeah, I, cho- I chose Ken, because yeah. I, I typically play yeah. Ken. And, uh, man. Brandon smoked him. Smoked him, dude. Smoked him. Smoked him. Smoked him. I, I didn't hit you. Did he? Did he? I, did he I think I, I think I, I think I did perfect him on one round. Oh, yeah. But in front of all of his friends, dude, shut him down in front of his friends, and it felt so good. And you know what I did? I looked over at him and I shook his hand. And he said, was he was cordial about it. Too. And I said thanks for playing me. Was, and and he just kind of like put his head down and walked off. Uh, he but gave felt, you props though. He did. I remember he gave you props. He, he did tell you he's just like man, you're really good. It felt so good to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it oh, yeah. felt so oh, yeah. good. I'm not really that good at Street Fighter, but yeah. that was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the Arcadia and Baton Rouge closed. Yeah, it did. Um, See, the, uh, that go that's got to be another um, victim of the the, the longevity. Now, I, no, no, not the pandemic. Not the pandemic. They, they they closed before then. I think it's just the longevity of the cabinets. And I, but I do think the one in New Orleans is still open. 
also. Are we going to go to New Orleans and risk our lives? <laughs> no, risk our lives to play uh, <laughs> Pac-Man play, on the big screen. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, I, we didn't talk about it, but we talked about, um, we mentioned uh, arcades and yeah. Pigeon Forge and stuff like that. Yeah. D- uh, they dest- still have those. Destination <clears throat> places like that. Uh, vacation destinations. Yeah, and now they, they do have places like Dave and & Buster's and, yeah. and, and that new place that opened in Baton Rouge. Before I forget, we got to talk about the go-kart story oh, because yeah. we went to that arcade. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about we that We went one. to the arcade. This is related to arcades. And there was a go-kart place far, connected to the yeah. arcade. And of course, you got it right. It was like a two. St- it was like like a two story. Was it? Um, or, no, it was just a big track. Yeah, it was just a big track. I don't think we went to the two story. And ones. I remember we went go kart. It's me, you, and I think uh, yeah, my wife was there. Haley. She was watching from Julie, the. I don't, where no, was it was just Julie? it was just us three. Yeah, Julie didn't come with us this time. I don't know why. It was maybe just us three. Maybe she stayed with. Uh, I don't remember, but anyway. But we um, I remember. We went go karting, and you know, whenever you go go karting at one of these arcade places, you, there's a good chance you're going to get the slow one. I think you got the slow one, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So you couldn't keep up with like all, everyone else. You're just kind of. There's always that one one go kart that's handicapped, and the thing that's BS about it is that they don't. They don't get no sympathy. Back. No yeah, sympathy. Yeah, just, yeah. You, you like 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 I feel like it's really like oh you went on the slow one it's fine here's you you get another free ride. Or They're just like no. No, oh well. So me I I got I don't think I got a fast one, but you know I'm when I, when I go go karting I'm not that I'm not that a hole who's like yeah. spinning people out but not trying to be I'm not I'm, I'm I'm a little aggressive but I'm passing people but I'm being polite about mm-hmm. it right mm-hmm. I'm taking the outside corners um, I'm being very very uh, courteous about passing but there's this one lady she must have been drinking dude what but was wrong with her what was her problem she, I don't know she was she was she was that aggressor yeah. right she was constantly bumping into people and this the cool thing about this track was it had a slick corner yeah you remember like it's yeah. like it they made you slow down because if you didn't you'd spin out and I was hit, never fast enough and you'd, like you'd, hit the, you'd hit the side so I would slow down and I would take the inside corner now yeah. me and this lady we were neck and neck yep. and I was like I'm going to beat this lady mm-hmm. yeah, you know I am I was like yeah. I'm going to beat this lady I'm yeah. not letting her pass me and yeah. so we um, we I, I take the inside corner um, no 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 I can't remember exactly how it happened but we got to that slick curve yeah and that was my chance to overpass her <laughs> because I only had so many laps left. Yeah. Remember, once you get like once that yellow light comes on, you know it's the last lap. Yep. And so this was like the second to last lap. We get to that slick corner, and I think I was on the outside, or no, I was on the inside. That's how it goes. She was on the outside of me, but she was bumping me against the rail. And so what happened was, as she was bumping me, she was kind of coming ahead of me, and I yeah. I pit maneuvered her, and I I barely bumped her, and she she spun her. She spun out into the rail because because it was slick. Yeah. Like they would like there was water there on purpose to make it slick. Yeah. And she spun out. And I remember she like like they, they blew they blew the whistle and told everybody to slow down so they could move her out of the way. Yeah. Uh, so nobody would hit her. And that next lap I came around, I was doing the like the underneath the chin. The way, little rascal's way. The little rascal's yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I was doing it to her and she had her arms crossed with her like her she was a Karen. Yeah. She was a Karen. Oh, she, was she, a Karen. she had uh her, her sun her big the sunglasses. Big old water book, and she, sunglasses. She she had her, her arms folded, and I did the yeah. little rascal's wave with the, underneath the chin. <laughs> and then she flipped me off. Oh, dude, she was so mad. She flipped I remember me that. off, and they ejected her from the... They, they, <laughs> they, 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 kicked her, they kicked her out. They made her get out, and they made her... Like, yeah. And then she met us after she came. She came and told you something. What did she say? I don't remember. She said, you think you're funny, huh? Yeah, that's you what think, she said. You think you're funny, And Brandon huh? goes, Brandon goes, yep. <laughs> <laughs> She said, well, yep. Why do people say that? Like, you think you're funny? Like, yes, I do, actually. She said, you think you're funny? I said, yep. Yep. And she said, well, I'm going to go get my husband. We'll see how funny you think you are. And she's like, you're going to go get your husband to fight somebody at go kart We never saw that woman again. No, so pretty no, sure, no, pretty no, sure her husband was probably like, I'm not going to fight somebody over some go-karts. <laughs> yeah, because she was clearly drinking. Yeah. But it was an incredible story. Yeah. Really. Oh, it was. It was, it was, it was great. great. I love it. There's actually another it great memorable. another great go-karting story where one time uh, yeah. Paul Paul loves the story. I did not I don't even remember it happening, but uh, go karting at Celebration Station in Baton Rouge, yes, and yeah. uh, there, these two people were like, "This wreck happened," and I shot through the middle of it, and I went, "Woo!" I put devil horns up in the air, yeah. and because Paul was driving with his daughter in the double one, so he's yeah. going a lot slower, but he, he thinks that's the coolest thing ever. Oh yeah, boy, I can't wait for Paul comes home. Man. I know, me too. Our buddy Paul's in uh, basic training for the army. No, now he's in uh, advanced individual training, AIT. So yeah, he's he graduated. Yeah, he's basically Captain America at this point. Oh yeah. Regular Captain America. I, that's what they call him. Even his sergeants call him Captain. They yeah, call him Captain I, I, I bet. I'm not surprised. Do you, real quick, um, 
I gotta, I gotta talk about, since we're talking about Paul, I gotta say the story of his injury at a basic training. He moved everybody out of the way and took a freaking huge ammo canister to the head. Yeah, but now we call him Staple Head. Yeah. Because <laughs> he got staples in his head. Because he got the staples in his head. But he moved everybody out of the way and it's wild. Uh, dude, I'm not surprised. Um, do we, do we want to talk about the games too? The games? Uh, or are we running over a little bit? Uh, it's okay if these well, run a little longer. I just, yeah, I just wanted to say, um, some of my favorite games. Yeah. My, some of my favorite that I ever had. Yeah. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Oh, yeah, dude. F-Zero AX. Yep. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Yep. Um, Hydro Thunder. Mm-hmm. I love the Hydro Thunder game. Any any driving game. Pretty much. Um, Those were the fun ones to do. Yeah, and that that was pretty much my favorite yeah. favorites. If I, and what, what were some of yours? So, um... I tended to gravitate a little more towards the Lycan game. So like oh, first oh, yeah. ones, first ones that come to my mind are Jurassic Park. Not any of the ones that you're thinking of. Not the Raw Thrills. Not the Raw Thrills. There's one that they have out right now that's they got like the... Is this uh, the one that the dinosaur poops on you? Yep. Yeah, that, that one. one. That's yeah. it. That's it. Um, there's, there's four Jurassic Park games, and I just want to bring it up because I, I, I love Lost World is what it was. They have the first one, which is based off of Jurassic Park 1. It's like a... Um, interactive game where the seat kind of bounces as you go over stuff. It's only the only time you'll ever find it is at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't think it's there no more, but it, it was like no it, it ain't there no more. But um, but it was like Chuck E. Cheese exclusive. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Lost World Jurassic Park. It was like this alternate storyline where these two random people are looking for Ian Malcolm and Sarah, and they run into him eventually. Yeah, you're gonna shoot dinosaurs. You're gonna shoot dinosaurs. You yeah. Shoot them. You're not like the first boss is a T Rex. The it, last boss is also a T Rex. It's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like in the movies like the only person who has a gun is uh, Muldoon yeah and, he, and he never he hardly even uses yeah. it he's got a spaz well he doesn't even use it exactly in this game you are you are like, mowing him down like you going like the cannon fodder enemies are raptors yeah you're shooting raptors, you're so shooting you're, shooting, you're yeah. shooting dinosaurs like crazy it's like it's the exact opposite of the movies exactly like you were it's funny. more than prepared it's funny because even in even in the lost world since we're on that that, that page you know, um, the the team in Lost World, they're all equipped with weapons. They never get to use them. Yeah, they never And when they use them, they waste them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're trying to shoot a freaking T-Rex that's coming after them in that scene with the tent, you know what I'm talking about right yeah, after yeah. that? Um, and then here you are, just like paper-thin zombies, like, ha <laughs> gun go. <laughs> <laughs> like, paper-thin paper zombies, no, paper-thin dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? Excuse me. Um, they came out with a Jurassic Park 3 that was pretty meh, and then this la- this current one that's out. The, uh, Look, the- we were a little too young for this, but Afterburner, with the, mm, remember the Terminator yeah, 2? Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the, like, yeah. rotating, yeah, yeah. and all those uh, X-Wing games, like the Star Wars games. Oh, yeah, that, that was really weird, we, the Star Wars trilogy game. We really d- didn't get to play those very much. Yeah, they were no, kind of rare down they here. Were, they were rare. Um, Everything, anything that was rare, multiply it times 10 down yeah. here, because oh, yeah. this is not a video game state. <laughs> they don't care about video games there was very a much co- down there's, here. There's a couple tucked away places I guess I would say where like some of the rarer games would be like maybe like Mortal Kombat 4 yeah. and then the Star Wars trilogy game which weirdly enough had like pilot games you had to play with the joystick the entire time now I want to take a moment to recognize a mystery game because some of the first time my first experiences with arcades arcade cabinets mm-hmm. is at a place called Pizza Inn Pizza Inn ooh uh, in Beerus, Louisiana mm-hmm. it's the only pizza place we Pizza had. Inn that's Pizza a, that's Inn a, what, a, what a name for you, well it was it was a chain mm-hmm. it was a chain but it was like Pizza Hut but it was Pizza Inn yeah could you could you stay there for no, 90 no. gil <laughs> and, 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 and recover your health yes <laughs> <laughs> yes I'm lying um, Brandon, Brandon but said no but they, I, I remember specifically they had the Ninja Turtles arcade that's probably the first experience that's probably the first arcade I ever played yeah. uh, but there was a game a little bit later in life when we'd go down to Beerus to visit mm-hmm. and we went to the same Pizza Inn I don't know what this game was and I might even be making this up but you, it was like you play it was multiplayer you play mm-hmm. two, two characters and you play as a little goblin like you play as a little goblin with like a little hooded like like little outfit on and you have a lantern and you throw fire like you throw it like you lob up, you lob the fire at the enemies it's like a shooter essentially but you're a little goblin throwing these little fire yeah. bolts and I remember fighting this big like giant cart with these wooden wheels I don't know the life of me What I've tried to find it before Steve I can't find it every time I type in goblin arcade machine I just get ghosts and goblins yeah same here that's yeah. what I'm saying ghosts uh, and goblins, ghouls and goblins. Say, arcade game goblin lantern shooter you can try to look it up I've, I've tried I can't find it but if anyone knows what I'm talking wow. about wow it literally says it looks like there aren't many great matches for your shirt dude I've, I've tried 
Um, if anyone knows what this game is, please message me. LittleJollyGamerShow at gmail.com. What is this game? I need to know what this game is. Is it, is it, so you say shooter. Is it a first person shooter? Like no, 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 no. Game? It's like, no. like, like you. Side scroller? Like platform, almost like Metal Slug, yeah. essentially, but you're these little goblins and you're throwing little, little gobs of fire out yeah. of your lantern. Slug, I remember playing it with my friend. Oh. Was it really a goblin? I'm pretty sure it was. I think it, I could be lying. I don't know. <laughs> but that's all I remember. Um, but I, we do need to close up, Steve. Yeah, we do. Um, we've been going for a while. But we could talk about that for hours. I keep going. So, we yeah, we talked about the death arcades, right? Yeah. And they're kind of coming back. We, there's this arcade one-up machines that you can buy at, like, Walmart. Yeah, those are, are pretty cool. Very, very cool. Like, small, like, miniatures, but they basically have flat screens, yeah. HD graphics. But what you can do is they, they sell... I hate that they sell this, but they sell, like, an extender for it to make it, like... Yeah. I think they were or, originally or you marketed can, to you can, kids. You can mod them and turn them into a main machine. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I think they were originally marketed towards kids, and then and they, they realized they became so popular for adults. Like, oh man, we need to make a taller for adults. Dude, like the NBA Jam one has Wi-Fi, and you can play online Dude, NBA Jam with other people with, what? The, with the same arcade cabinet. Dude, what? Yeah, it's really That's cool. That's so cool. They're really Dude, cool. I want a Mortal Kombat one so bad. I want one of the Marvel vs. Capcom ones. Yeah. And they all come with three games each. And it's like really, they're, they're kind of expensive. How much are they? Like, three, like 300 bucks. Let's see. Oh. But those are coming back. I wanna... And I want to do a shout out to the last bastion of arcade um, civilization in our area, which is Gameware. Gameware. Now, Ga- plus Gameware, Gameware is the best video game store in the state. Maybe in the world, maybe even in the galaxy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe even in the universe. I don't know if it's quite as good as uh, Video Game Underground. Video Game Underground, but Gameware. Now we do have friends. We have friends that 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 work at Gameware. Shout out to Gameware. Of course, Gameware is the best one in the country. You know? Game, game, joking. no, in the universe. In the universe, they're the best, and that's they had arcades there, man. Oh, yeah. That is the only place around here that you can reliably play some really good arcade. They games. had a flight simulator arcade game. <laughs> they did. They had. Um, um, the, the DDR machine that's yeah. modded and they have all like, like Ooh, a thousand songs I didn't know on they there. modded it. That's I'm pretty cool. sure they have like a thousand songs on there. Now they uh, they did move locations in our so they're in the mall of Louisiana but yeah. they did move locations and they kind of lost a lot of their space but they might be moving again. I don't know. That's a rumor. That's a rumor. I don't know. You didn't hear this from me. You didn't hear from you me. You didn't hear from us. But um Sorry, um, <laughs> what's what's the alias we give him? Because if we don't want to name drop him, uh, Ralph. Ralph. Sorry, Ralph. <laughs> but Ralph. Uh, Game I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember walking into um, Game for the mean? first time, and they had all the arcades. And, oh yeah. And they. Uh, I mean, it's just the best place to go for, I love for video you, game goodness here. I really love how you how you became friends with all them. Like, all the people that went to Because <laughs> I showed up there all the time? used to go there all the time. Because <laughs> I was always there buying something I stupid. hope they never thought of you. He's like, man, this weird kid keeps coming back. <laughs> this kid, he keeps coming in and buying weird, like, <laughs> buying 12 GameCube games at a time. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, honestly, though, I gotta tell like, him, every time he comes here, he asks for a power glove. I, <laughs> Yeah. No, we don't have Tomba 2 yet. We don't. No. We don't have it. Poor Brandon's been looking for Tomba 2 his entire life. Hey, I found it. And yeah, you did find I, it. I found it at Gameware, I believe. No, I think I found Tomba 1 at Game. I can't remember where I got it, but... I found one of the Mega Man games that you wanted at uh, Gameware, but it's also stupid expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Mega Man X4. Mom, can I have X3. Mega Man... X3. Uh, X3, excuse me. Mom, can I have Mega Man X3 for Christmas? Poor Janelle probably worked so hard to find that. Yeah, dude. dude. Man, we're going to talk about video game yeah. Christmases on another episode. Write that down. Put that on the list. It is on the list. It is on the, it list? Is on the list? Oh, man. It is I love you, Steve. I love you, Steve. I got that list. I got that list. Um, but um, I think that's really all we had to say. I mean, we could, we could keep talking. Oh, yeah. We really could, but oh, we yeah. the show has to stop somewhere. One day, I want to go to Barcadia in New Orleans on uh, Chapatula Street. <laughs> go look up. Go If you're not from Louisiana, look that up, please. Chapatula is a... No, don't try to look it up. Look up Barcadia, New Orleans, and then look at the street where it's located. Chapatula sounds like a, a final Fantasy it's enemy. pronounced Chapatulas. It doesn't. It's not spelled like that. It sounds like a, an enemy from Final Fantasy. Pretty much, yeah. Like a cockatoris. Like a cockatrice. Cockatoris. Cockatoris. What's a cockatoris? Is that from Final Fantasy? I, I don't, yeah, I think so. It's a one weird creature. Uh, they had the cockatrice and then they had the cockatoris. The cockatoris. But but the Chapatulas. Yeah, Chapatulas. But but in all instances, like I as okay, I will always prefer old-fashioned cabinet games to anything, but. I will welcome stuff like Dave and Buster's with open arms because you know what? 
that's about as close as you're going to get to the original arcade experience with the exception of like and we're adults now and yeah. you, want, you want a beer exactly but you know what <laughs> maybe though? not me but there yeah. is a place there, uh, I've been seeing, seeing places all around the, the world I guess I, I'll, I'll, I will personally finish on this um, all around the country like I saw somewhere in Tennessee I don't know where in Tennessee but it's like they have a butt ton a metric butt ton of cabinets legitimate cabinets it's a huge it's a warehouse freaking warehouse full of cabinets it's a it's a it's a barcade it's not it's it's like 10 barcades it's humongous we gotta try to go there one day and then they got I'm, a place in Vegas that looks just I'm like down. that too. So Tennessee and Vegas. I'm saying maybe not Vegas, but uh, Tennessee. I'm I'm down. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'll give Vegas a shot. I, know, I, mean, I, know, I, I mean, look, I'm gonna be honest. Can we go see Wayne Newton while we're yes. there? Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you though, man. And and uh, Vegas is looking to be a pretty big video gamer destination because they just opened the biggest esports arena in the country. In Vegas? in Vegas. Wow, that's cool. And there's all kinds of themed bars that I think that you and I both would enjoy. Hey, as long as we can go see Wayne Newton, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that's the show. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. Hey, what was some of your favorite arcade experiences? What were some of your favorite arcades to go to? What's your favorite arcade game? Tell me. We want to know. Little Jolly Gamer Show at gmail.com. You send it. I'll read it. I promise. I want to see your emails if you have one. Yeah. Steve, thanks so much for joining me today. Of course, man. Thanks um, for having me. Uh, we had some uh, Pinocchio's pizza. Uh, and <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but hey, long live Pinocchio's pizza. Long live Pinocchio's long, pizza. Long live arcades. Yeah. Uh, check out our other stuff on this RSS feed. Little, jo- Little Jolly Gamer Show presents RSS feed. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.